Welcome to the Create with Ease podcast. Thank you so much for joining me and happy living day. Today's topic is badass creation and badass living. I have been the last six months, I would say so much change has um, occurred in my life. Lots of travel, I'm moving to a place that truly nurtures uh, my body Uh, business growth, new projects, and just having the joy of living, waking up each day. And it's truly an adventure and so much joy to be received and the gratitude of this life and living. So I want to talk about that in talking about what badass creation is, as well as badass living, badass gratitude. So badass is really where you're out creating everything in your life. So what I mean by out creating um, is, is when everything becomes greater in your life, moment by moment. Everything becomes greater in your life and there's nothing there's nothing or no one that stops that greatness that is such a way to live that really facilitates so much joy for you on this planet facilitates so much joy on the planet when when no one or nothing stops you from living the life that you know is possible. That is pure bad ass. So in this reality, there's so many things that can tug you and pull you to be normalized in this reality and be mediocre and really be the victim and feel sorry for yourself or feel bad when people talk about you or when people don't like you or when you when you completely don't fit in at all. Once you're able to release those ties from this reality and truly be you, that's where the magic happens. That's where the magic happens because then nothing, nothing, nothing stops you. You're not hindered by your limitations. If you have something that shows up in your life that may seem chaotic, crazy, you know, throw you, you know, off the loop or just something that unravels you. And when those situations no longer unravel you because you know that within you, you have the tools to facilitate a different reality, no matter what shows up, what can you not create from this space? There's truly not, you're truly unstoppable. You are truly unstoppable. So You may be thinking in your head, so Grace, so how do I get from that point where I no longer let these things bother me, where I'm no longer uh, stopping myself because of judgment, I'm no longer judging myself, or I, I, you know, make tons of mistakes, I'm, you know, bad with money, or um, just whatever you judge yourself for. One of the key elements in really taking yourself out of that space and being in that space of bad ass is really not making yourself right or wrong. That's where we get stuck is in this space of wrongness. I'm wrong. I'm bad. I'm not good at this. I can't get over this. I have this problem. Don't make yourself wrong. And then you may ask, so then how do I hold myself accountable? You be present 
with what is showing up in your life without avoiding it, without running away from it, without disappearing, without hiding, you be present with what you create. So if you create some shit, cool. What would it take to change this? What can I be or do different to change this? Or sometimes it's just being, being with that energy, being with That thing that you've created and you will receive the awareness of what is required. We automatically go into the space of judgment where I'm like, oh, I'm wrong. This is terrible. This is bad. I'm not, I don't even know how to fix this. Uh, You know, and that stops creation. That stops moving forward. That stops you out creating what you're looking to change. And it is literally a practice that you have to commit to because they will be things that will come and show up in your reality that are completely a mess and will completely unravel you depending depending on the situation. And if you get to that space where you're no longer looking at these things as they are greater than you. Once you start going into the wrongness, you're already saying that this situation is greater than me, that I cannot um, outcreate it. I can't change it. You have to be willing to commit to the space of not running away and being present with what is and what is showing up. And you'll start to find that you will have things come and you'll be like, oh, cool, this is so joyful. You will actually have joy in those spaces because you're not allowing your outside circumstances to dictate your reality. And so begin to practice when things show up in your reality that are completely fucked up. Practice not going into reaction. Practice not making yourself wrong. Practice not giving up. It is a practice and be kind with you in this space. It is a muscle that you build. Yes, in my reality, you know, I have all kinds of different stuff that shows up. And it is a practice. Now, I am noticing more and more the joy where I'm really, when a problem shows up, it's not real. It's no longer a problem. It is actually a possibility. Like, cool. I really get to create something different here. I really get to create something different here. So as you have these things show up, be kind and cool to yourself and not going to deep judgments and making yourself wrong practice. If you go into wrongness for five minutes, hey, at the five minute marker, put a timer on. Hey, I'm done with this. The next five minutes, I am not going to go into judgment. I'm not going to go into wrongness. I'm not going to criticize myself. I'm not going to be the victim. Even if you take five minute increments, five minute increments, the more you start to practice and build the muscle, the more you begin to see how truly badass you are and that you are able to change anything in your reality and nothing is greater. Nothing is greater than you. So I know this is going like so many different places and I'm going to be an allowance of that space and speak to the energy of what this podcast would like to be. And so in badass living, badass living is really creating a life where you have things that you, that truly nurture you in every aspect of your life, having things that truly nurture you in every aspect of life. And what does that have to do with badass, badass living? The more you nurture yourself and honor yourself It literally changes the molecules in your body. 
And it literally allows you to receive more of what you're asking for. So if it's money, if it's joy, if it's play, if it's orgasms, if it's more clients, you can just by you nurturing you and honoring you, it shifts. It shifts the molecular structure in your body. It shifts your point of views about everything. You literally step into a space of gratitude and joy. When you're nurturing yourself, you're not you, you and taking care of yourself, being kind to yourself, you're not judging yourself. You're not in that space of making yourself wrong. You're in a space of wow, I am so grateful for me. You are in a space of presence and being present with you and really happy and excited to be here and thankful for your body. You don't have time for for any of that other stuff. And that space activates and actualizes more receiving of money, of wealth, of elegance, of everything that you are asking to receive, you will find when you are in a space, when you're in that space, that and, and it's a potent space. Don't take it lightly that you just nurturing yourself and being kind to yourself and not judging yourself that there's no potency in that. That is bad as potency. That space creates that space literally creates you will receive downloads for ideas creativity um downloads for books you know just a whole lot of things you just have to play in that space and so you may ask so what is this nurturing what does it look like it will look different for every single person you have to ask for you what does that look like what does being in the space of nurturance i'll give a recent example I needed to, up. well, I really perceived the energy that upgrading my phone to a newer phone would really be a contribution to me, my body, my business, to everything. And so I did. I did upgrade my phone. And I've had so much joy. I mean, like this, having this phone just elevated so many things in my life where it's like, oh, you know, I feel, I feel wealthy i feel elegant just so many adjectives to describe the contribution this phone has been and it's not about like okay you know having all these things i'm not saying go and buy all these gazillion things that you you don't even need it's being aware of what contributes to you what contributes to you and adds to your life and then adding that to your life and receiving it. It could be even a meal. Like uh, today, um, I went to this amazing cafeteria. Yes, a cafeteria, if you cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. I chose, I had I had choice. So I was like, okay, I'm kind of hungry right now. What, are, you know, you know, tapping into the energy, what would my body like? And then I was led down to this cafeteria. And oh my gosh, I had some really good food that just contributed to me and after that I was able to uh, do a couple business things and I had so much energy I mean I got I there have been some projects that I've been looking to move forward and kind of been slow and moving them forward and blah 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 but after eating this meal it was so nurturing and kind to my body I'm like I had this energy just come through and was able to get through what I required and I actually made more money too in the process just by choosing to honor my body by eating this nurturing meal oh our time is almost up and so if you would like to tap more into these energies this is just one layer of it I'm offering a class December 21st and 24th called Bad Ass Creation. We will dive deeper into the intimacy of Bad Ass Creation. And as we're stepping into 2020, a brand new year, trust me, 
in the last six months i've created oh my gosh we even bought a house i completely forgot about that too we even bought a house as well travel how oh my gosh so many things